Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If the setup and the haircut and everything is still new to you, I'll go ahead and link up the video I posted just before this one where I explain about the haircut and about the setup that I'm now working with. I didn't want to clog up too much at the beginning of this video with that, so I just made it its own video, and you can check that out if you are a little bit curious. In this weekly series, I go through all of the new makeup releases that I see on on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we get into this week's new products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this weekly series and if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. All right, so I did see a couple of new bigger releases on Trend Mood, so let's jump in there first. So Pixie has been coming out with a whole lot more like skincare products recently and I recently saw a few influencers that I like and trust get PR packages from them and really like a few of their products so I am really interested in trying out some of their skincare. I said I really wanted to try out more of their makeup and actually like become familiar enough to do a full brand review but Honestly, whenever I go into Target and I'm looking at Pixie, I just, I keep looking like, I keep looking at the eyeliner and at the powder. I'm like, I'm not paying $25 for this powder. I'm not going to pay $20 for this eyeliner. Like, it's so tough, like, going into Target and seeing basically Sephora prices for products. Like, I, mm. So if anything, that's probably going to be a more long-term goal because I have picked up a few small things here and there, one of which I'm actually really enjoying. But I, I honestly can't figure out why the price point is that high, <laughs> right? Like, it's, it's, it's a brand that's so strangely straddling the line between drugstore and higher end. And I don't understand it. Just pick a side, <laughs> please. <laughs> But when it comes to skincare, I'm always on the lookout for some great affordable skincare. So I really do want to try out some of their toners because I've heard amazing things about like their glow tonic. Um, and I do see that they have some face masks like the glow glycolic boost face masks. And uh, I did try out their makeup remover like duo thing and I hated that. So I, I don't want to try anything like makeup removey if that made sense, from them, but I am looking more into like the skincare-esque side. I really want to start with the toner, maybe a serum. I see they have a couple of serums down here, but I'll see. Maybe I'll pick up one of those kits. I see that they have a couple of small like travel kits, like the Best of Vitamin C kit or the Best of Rose kit. I love Rose, so I might try that Best of Rose kit. It's three of their products for $22. So I might pick up one of those small kits just to try out a couple of their products. Colourpop came out with a new palette because of course they did. <laughs> this is called the It's My Pleasure palette and it's just a purple palette. I mean, I love the whole layout of these nine pan palettes. I think they're so nice and it looks like the packaging is very sturdy, but and this color story isn't really reaching out for me. I do have the Kylie purple palette and I feel like that would fulfill my needs as far as a purple palette is concerned. But, mm, yeah, like uh, there's nothing that's really calling me to this palette. So Maybelline is now collabing with Puma. <laughs> I feel like the strangest collabs are coming out recently for a full collection. So they've got like a highlighter, they've got some lipsticks, they've got like a, a brow gel or a mascara, they've got some shadows. The only thing I'm really interested in are the lipsticks. So I've tried out a couple of their, their matte ink lipsticks, I think they're called, and they look really nice for the first couple hours that you wear them, but I don't think, well, for the two that I've tried out, they don't wear a full day that well, but these shades look really pretty, uh, especially like the orangey shade that I see. I think it's called uh, Unapologetic. That looks really pretty. I'd be interested in checking that out in store if I could. Um, also, the shades Unstoppable and Fierce. So I am looking into those lipstick shades. They also have like, it looks like some liquid shadows, but... Really, the only thing calling me are, like, those lipsticks. 
Real Techniques just came out with a couple of new brush sets, and honestly, I haven't really tried a whole lot of Real Technique brushes. I don't know, I feel like I've always had a lot of brushes in my collection, and I haven't really been needing to pick up too many, though I am testing out a few affordable brush sets, some from BH, one from Wet n Wild, and one from e.l.f., because I really do want to do a video on those, but I'm testing them out. I am washing them to make sure they actually last, and it's, it's a bit of a long process, but I am curious about these brushes, because I know people, some people are pretty ride and die when it comes ride and die. <laughs> ride or die. Oh my god, it's early. What time is it? It's 6.30 a.m. Yeah. People are pretty ride or die when it comes to these brushes, so I've been curious about it, but I haven't seen a kit that I really wanted to jump on, per se. So these kits are really adorable. They look very cherry blossomy. Um, I see one has like a fan brush. I'm not a huge fan of fan brushes. Eh. With a contour brush and like a concealer brush and a sponge kind of thing. Honestly, none of these are really calling to me, if anything. Like, I know their sponges are okay. I found more affordable sponges that are a lot better than this one. But I do want to try out their brushes at some point. I just don't know if I should just jump in and, like, pick up individual brushes or wait for a kit that actually, like, really intrigues me. Givenchy just released a sneak peek of their summer collection. The packaging is just meh. But also is Givenchy, so it's a lot of money. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried anything Givenchy, or just ever, and I don't think I'm gonna start anytime soon, so uh, we'll just leave it there. So Sigma just came out with two new concealer brushes. Uh, I don't really feel a need to grab these. When it comes to concealer under my eyes, I 100% prefer to use a sponge unless I'm putting a color corrector under my eyes. If I'm going in with a salmon color corrector, I do like to go in with a brush and then put my concealer on top, but still to blend out my concealer, I will use a sponge. So I don't feel the need to pick up these brushes. If you do prefer brushes for your concealer, I 100% recommend Sigma brushes. The majority of my favorite brushes are from Sigma, so I know they're going to be great quality. It's just for these two in particular, I'm not a, a huge fan of brushes for concealer, so I wouldn't be picking them up. So Beauty Bakery is coming out with a new brush collection. Um, so it's called the Bakeware Collection. Adorable. I really want to see if I could find these in store. We have Riley Roses nearby and they do carry Beauty Bakery. So I would like to see if maybe I could find them in store, see how they actually look and feel. But I would 100% be interested in picking up a couple of brushes from them since I love their uh, baking under eye powder so much. I see they have like a big face powder brush. They have, I think, what looks like a contour brush. I see one that's cut off from the top looks like a detail brush. So I'd be interested in like actually seeing them in store if I could. KKW is coming out with a new red lipstick kit. And while I gotta say the red looks amazing, my favorite red lipstick is still from Fenty. And that, that being said, I'm always a fan of uh, liquid red lipsticks because I know they're going to stay and not transfer like crazy while this one is a bullet lipstick. So while it looks pretty gorgeous and the packaging is really nice, uh, I won't be going for it. Also, like the uh, lip liner, I'm pretty sure they're sold. Is it a bundle or are they sold separately? I can't even tell, but I'm seeing $18 for the classic red true lead true lead true red lip liner and then red number one true red twelve dollars i have no idea if it's a bundle or not but i'm not gonna be picking it out viziart just came out with a new eyeshadow palette and honestly i'm gonna pass neutrals and purples and i have plenty of viziart shadows that i never touch so yeah armani is coming out with a new spring collection and honestly it looks adorable but I've never actually purchased an Armani product. I've tried out a few samples of their foundations, and there are one or two that I really do want to pick up, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I would pick up one of these, like, regular full price. Mm. I don't know. Like, it looks really pretty, but I feel like that's all it 
is when it comes to these like luxury brands. It's all about packaging and about the name. For the most part, whenever you actually look at reviews for the products, they're kind of garbage. So just to, uh, I'll keep the picture, look at it every now and then, but I, I'm not gonna like go out on limb and actually probably pick it up, you know? Too Faced is doing a new collab with The Pretty Mess, honestly. I think she's like a real housewife of something or other. I honestly have no idea. I don't watch any of those kind of reality shows. So it's more of an announcement. Um, I have no idea what the products are actually going to be because they just announced that she's the one collaborating with them. But we'll see. The Too Faced collabs tend to be like, hmm. Yeah. So we'll see what the actual products look like. ColourPop is now coming out with mystery bags and uh, I mean, I'm just like, man, like they have so many products like you have no, you don't even have an idea of what you could get in one of these bags. It's not something I'll pick up just because I know ColourPop at this point now is so hit or miss that, eh. I mean, I'm sure it's very affordable. Of course, everything ColourPop is very affordable. But don't fall into the trap of just picking something up because you're excited about what it may be and that it's affordable. That's what I'm trying to talk myself out of. And I hope I can talk someone else out of it too if they really don't need this or want this. Does anyone else know what the heck this is? Norvina posted a tease for something. It's not a new product from ABH. Uh, some people are saying it's either a collab or it's an engagement and I have no idea like if it's not a new product release then why are we looking at it? What else could it be? Right? So this must have gone totally over my head. Ashley Tisdale has a makeup line? <laughs> What? <laughs> it's called uh, Illuminate Cosmetics. It's called the Glow Up Palettes. Each each palette has two contour shades and two highlighter shades. There's a cool palette and there's a warm palette. I honestly had no idea this brand existed. I mean, I'll take a look into it. They look kind of cute. And you know how much I love face palettes, so, you know, we, we'll see. I really would have to look more into the actual brand and take a look at it. Makeup Forever just came out with these new palettes. Of course, they're geared more towards actual makeup artists, so you've got a big um, foundation palette, you've got a big cream blush palette. Uh, I'm definitely not interested. I don't need a foundation palette just because I'm not an actual practicing makeup artist. I just do it on my own face. <laughs> and for the blushes, I'm not a huge fan of cream, pretty much anything other than foundation. So I know this brand, of course, caters more towards actual makeup professionals, so that's what they're going for. If you're not a makeup professional and you're interested in these, let me know down below, because I mean, I am kind of wondering what is the, uh, the more commercial appeal of these kinds of palettes. So it looks like Ofra came out with their Valentine's Day collection a bit early, which I can't even believe it's almost already Valentine's Day. Where, oof, where is that going? So it looks like they're coming out with a rose makeup fixer, which is a rose scented version of their setting spray. I've never tried their setting spray before. Have you? Let me know down below if the setting spray is actually worth it. It looks like $20 plus whatever shipping would be. Um, they are also coming out with a uh, cooling, soothing, and brightening peel-off mask for $20. Um, they're also coming out with a highlighting palette, which comes with Rodeo Drive, Pillow Talk, and Blissful for $35. Not interested. Only one of the shades really work for my skin tone. They're also coming out with the Rose Moisturizing Lipstick. Mm. And then a mini liquid lip set, which that would actually be interesting. I love mini lip products, as you know, and I haven't really tried out their liquid uh, lip product, liquid lip, what I'm trying to say, their uh, liquid lip formula. So that, if anything, that's the only thing I'd actually be interested in other than maybe the setting spray. 
but honestly, I haven't heard a whole lot about their setting spray. Okay, so this video is already getting long enough. I'm gonna just throw in one indie makeup thing real quick. So this is the new Andy Candy Makeup Highlighting Palette. I honestly have never heard of this brand. I have no idea who this person- I feel so bad, like I have no idea who this person is or what this is. But the palette itself looks kind of adorable. Though the shades do look very similar to the ABH Moonchild Glow Kit, which I already have. So, uh, have you heard of this before? Are you interested at all? Let me know down below. So we're going to stop there for this week's weekly wish list or washout. Let me know down below what you thought of these products and if you're interested in picking up anything or if this is really just helping you on your no buy. Because I know a lot of these products are just helping a lot of people out because they're not really that enticing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.